as the Buddha was dying. He noted to some of the monks around him that the devas were up in heaven singing songs in homage to him, playing musical instruments, spreading flowers, spreading incense. He says, that's not the best way to show homage to the Buddha. The right way is to show homage by practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. In other words, you take the Dharma as the Buddha taught it and you practice it for the sake of freedom. The freedom that comes with disenchantment, the freedom that comes with dispassion, as the mind rises above its old concerns, frees itself from its old concerns, and finds a truly deathless happiness. So that's the, how the Buddha wanted us to show our gratitude to him for his teaching. After all, you can imagine, what made him happiest in life was finding freedom for himself. And then he spent all that time trying to find the freedom to begin with, and then once he had found it, establishing the Dharma and the Vinaya, so that other people for many generations on could find freedom for themselves. And so once that had given him happiness, finding freedom, you can imagine the next best thing would, see, would be seeing other people taking advantage of all that work he did so they could find freedom too. So this is the way of showing gratitude to the Buddha that would be most appealing to him. And of course we benefit. It's a sign of his real empathetic joy that this is what he wanted. He didn't want honor and gain so much. As he said, once you've seen the truth of inconstancy, then when honor and gain comes, you're either indifferent to it or you're actually repelled. Because you see that it comes and it goes, and it doesn't leave much of any value. Whereas the Dharma, when you practice it, gives you something that has solid value. The Buddha compares it to the heartwood of a tree. After the tree dies, the bark goes, the leaves go, the branches go, but the heartwood remains. That's something that's not affected by change. Of course, that's only a symbol, because eventually even the heartwood of a tree does change. But the freedom that comes from the Dharma, practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma, that doesn't change at all. So whatever effort you put into finding that and gaining it is all well spent. The results will never leave you. So in this way you benefit, and then you show your gratitude to the Buddha for all that work he went into. And you show your gratitude for all the people who've practiced the Dharma ever since then, who passed the Dharma on. And as I said the other day, you don't want to just stop right here, listening to the Dharma saying, isn't that nice? You practice it too, and try to let it show in your actions so other people will be inspired to take advantage of the Dharma as well. That's in line with the Buddha's original intention. So the benefits go all around, back to the Buddha and up to us, and then on into the future.